In this video, we're going to show how to install the Jax cryptocurrency wallet um, using the their Chrome extension. So to start out, go ahead and open the browser and let's go to jaxxx.io. We are on Jax website. Just make sure that you're at the right place, jaxx.io. And in order to get to the um, into the installs uh, install options, we go to get Jax free. And we can see here there are several options to choose from. They support um, all of these platforms you see here. The one we're going to do is this Chrome extension. So we just click Chrome. And in order to add this extension, we just click Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. See down here it says adding to Chrome. And it says here Jack's blockchain wallet has been added to Chrome. Use this extension by clicking the icon. All right. So we'll go ahead and close that and we'll click the icon. And here we are. Jax is displaying the release notes to us. We're on version 1.2. Click continue. The Jax end user license agreement. You can look through those. Click accept. And now here we are. We have the ability to create a new wallet. So we'll click continue. And the express version, we'll go with that. We can do custom, but there's really, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two at the moment. And anything that you could have gotten into custom, um, it's really easy after the fact to just make, make the changes once the wallet is created. Click continue. And this gives us the ability to go ahead and choose which type of wallets we want to activate. And as you can see, there are many different options here. That's one of the benefits of Jax is that they, they have a wide selection of coins. So we'll go ahead and do Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And take me to my wallet. They say here, hang tight. This is a very intensive process. That process they're referring to is the generation of the public private keys for each wallet uh, that we selected. So we've got a Bitcoin wallet, we've got an Ethereum wallet, and a Litecoin wallet, all within one JAX application. So we'll check out the interface really quickly. This is the Shapeshift integration. We'll do another video to see how to use that. They, this here is your Bitcoin address. If you want to copy that address, you can click copy. This is your public address, so it's fine to share that publicly. This is the thing that you would, this is the, 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 your address or your account that you would give to another person trying to send you Bitcoin. New wallet, so we've got enough, no funds. This QR code is a representation of this text, so someone were to scan this QR code, they would ultimately have access to this public address. And then down here, your transaction history will show up. If you want to take a look at the Ethereum wallet, just click the ETH up here and your Ethereum wallet will be displayed. The only difference that you're going to see here is that you've got ETH down here and this is your actual Ethereum address. Same with if we click the Litecoin wallet, we'll get a Litecoin address, but otherwise everything is uh, very similar. Now up here you have settings such as uh, you've got tools and settings, you've got your wallets, and you've got your currency. If you're interested in these items, please uh, check my other video where I went in, into depth into each one of these settings. Now, if you want to remove this extension, you just hover over the um, icon, you right click and you 
you say manage extensions and then down here you'll be able to see jacks you can you can disable it if you want um, which wouldn't be a bad idea if you're not using it to go ahead and disable it and then whenever you want to use it you could enable it um, and then if you want to get rid of it you just click remove from Chrome now I'll show you on the system in the file system where the files are located where all of your wallet data will be stored we just need to go to you can click on open your file explorer you can click on this PC then you can click on the C drive click on users click on your user that you're signed in with click on app data and click on local and then you want to find Google Chrome and then user data so inside of this user data is where all of your Chrome user data is located so if you type in the search bar um, Jax you'll see a lot of Jax items coming up now if we come back to our browser and we remove Jax click remove we will come here and refresh and you notice no items that match your search because all of the data got removed so if you had any funds in your wallet at that point you would have just killed the wallet you would have deleted everything and then if you didn't have your backup phrase then it, then it would be lost so that's how you get up and running with Jax uh, using the Chrome uh, uh, extension.